Hi everyone! I want to share with you how the matrix chart actually helps you make the outline super fast. And so the first thing is we left off with making decisions on whether you want this to be a paragraph that's by itself, right, each of these being their own, their own paragraphs, or whether or not you want them to be combined. So maybe I've decided that I want the problem and the solution to be together. And so how I would do that is I would copy and paste a problem and its solution in the outline. So here it is, pollution, reducing runoff, habitat loss, restoring wetlands. And I got that straight from the keywords that I used to identify the problems and solutions. And so all I would do now is copy and paste the quotes that belong in the pollution section and drop it in here and put those quotes there. Now if I decided that I wanted to combine it, so let's say this is um, the problem and solution in the same paragraph, I would need to make sure I say that in the in the introduction, but I need to make sure I say that in my topic sentences. So it, if I decide that this is now going to be combined, the problem and solution in the same paragraph, I need to make sure that I say the problem and the solution in the same paragraph, and that the data from the problem and the data from the solution are all in this paragraph. And I would probably say that that would be a lot of quotes, and then you might have to decide which one you take out. If you have too many from the website of the business organization or government entity, then maybe you decide to remove that quote and put a different quote from a database so you have a variety of sources. And that's really important that not everything comes from one source. Okay, so that's if you decided that you wanted to put the problem and solution in the same paragraph. But maybe you've decided that you've got way too much information and you would rather talk about them separately. And so you would just hit go to your, um, you would go to your boxes and you would take the pollution section and put it under pollution. And then you would put the runoff under runoff and then habitat loss. You would gather that those quotes from habitat loss and put them here. And it's literally like you're copying and pasting. So the matrix chart is helping you make connections between problems and solutions and helping you make decisions about how much information you have and whether you want to combine these two issues or separate them. And then once you've made those decisions, you're just replotting it in a different format so that you can see each paragraph taking shape. Obviously, I want you to write actual sentences here, okay? I don't want you to forget that each of these has to match your points. So we're, we want to really check for that, that each thing that you have in the introductory paragraph matches the order that you're talking about the issues so that each of these matches up. Okay, that's really super important that um, this guide for you writing the introduction is basically reminding the reader what they're about to read in the order that it uh, occurs in the essay. And that each topic sentence and summary statement um, matches. So in this case, it'd be on uh, habitat loss, right? And this one would be about restoring wetlands. Okay, and full sentences. And then the same holds true in your conclusion. You want to erase my words and you want to mark down the points in the order they appear in your essay. Okay? And you might have a, a different technique for the, for the attention getter and the intro and conclusion that you want to write and the thesis. And the thesis is going to be, why is this business so great? Or why is this organization so wonderful in lobbying uh, the government agencies? Or why is this government agency um, 
so helpful? Why are they so great? Or why is this local organization really amazing about saving the manatees? You know, it's an overarching, overall generic, general statement. Given these points, what makes them so amazing in general? What I don't want to see is a thesis that lists your main ideas um, in the in the thesis. That's that's not a thesis. That's the you already said that up here. You know, a thesis is not a listing of your main ideas. A thesis is knowing these these points. Why, what is the statement you can make about the business organization or government agency knowing this information? So I hope all of this helped you figure out how the matrix chart is an integral part of helping you decide how to organize your essay and gather the data and then reassemble it into a linear fashion so that when you go to write your paper using the cookie method, it will be much easier to create the paragraphs by introducing the quote, that you already have the quote, it's already documented, and then you explain it further with all kinds of rhetorical modes and then all you do is just smush everything together and that the paragraph builds itself around the data and the quotes that you found. So it's all right there, right? You've already got it. And then you've already got your topic sentence and you've already got your summary statement and the paragraphs will start building themselves up. Okay? So I really hope this helped you. I wish you best of luck on writing this, and if you need help, my goodness, ask me. I will be glad to assist you, answer any of your questions. There is no reason to struggle at all. Have a wonderful day, and thanks for watching.